Skull Vikings, let's win this game. Skull Vikings, honor your name. Go get that first down, then get a touchdown. Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway. Come at you with the results for this week's hashtag skirmish game. And this week we played hashtag tryptophan recovery tactics. Has everyone had a good Thanksgiving, hopefully? I did. Uh, nine and two, bitches. We did trend number four in the U.S. for a little bit, so thank you everyone for playing along. Lots of really clever, funny responses, despite all the people who didn't know what tryptophan was. I thought that would be common knowledge, so I apologize. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get right into it. Our top 10 for this week's hashtag skirmish game, hashtag tryptophan recovery tactics. Number 10 comes from an alley great, shark adrenaline. I don't really know the properties or even where to get it, but I gotta think that'd be a cure-all for a lot of things. Number nine comes from at flash g underscore 86. Next time, only eat the ham. I can't eat ham. I'm not a big fan. You know what ruined it for me was an episode of House. If you remember House, it was a great medical drama show with Hugh Laurie. There was an episode, I think it was early on too, where someone ate some ham that had like a tapeworm in it or something. And the whole episode, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with her, and then all of a sudden, they figure out it's a tapeworm, and they go in, and they just start pulling out, like, a 30-foot-long tapeworm. I think that was the point where I'm like, mm, no more ham for me, thanks. <laughs> I'm good. Done with ham. Number eight comes from at John F.P. Lane. If at first you don't succeed, tryptophan, tryptophan again. I cut one of his tryptophans because it's, you, you say it twice. Try, try again. Not three times. I think. I'm a little hazy on that particular saying. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I don't think I'm wrong. Number seven comes from at AR Bohemian, Xanax and a fat joint. For those of you that follow me or have followed me for a long time, I don't really tweet about weed that much. I don't smoke it very often, but this is funny, but at the same time, it's dangerous because I don't know about you, but when I do, partake in marijuana, I get hungry. So if you've already eaten too much and then you smoke a joint, like, I'll end up like the gluttony kill from the movie Seven, you know? <laughs> Number six comes from at J.E. Royal. Mix instant coffee in with your cereal. Ugh. I don't know if Everyone drinks coffee while eating cereal. It just sounds horrible to me. It's one or the other for me. I'll, I'll usually have some coffee first, and then if I have cereal with the kids, I have cereal. But, ugh, ugh. What would be the best cereal to mix coffee into? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That might not be horrible. There's plenty of cinnamon creamers out there. You, Number five comes from at shellbell underscore XO. More turkey. Hair of the turkey, right? I don't know if I'm just weird, but hair of the dog, like quick beer in the morning, has never, never worked for me. I don't really get hangovers that often because I don't drink that hard. I never really have. Uh, but yeah, I, ew, it's just the last thing in the world I want in the morning after drinking is another drink. It's just like... Ugh, ugh, nope. Mad villain water, man. I'm boring. Number four comes from at Laura Lee Watson 1. Hit up the kids' table. They're all on Adderall. Do people take Adderall for stomach aches now? <laughs> I didn't know it was all purpose, that one. I, did, I had no idea. I thought it would just make your kids shut up and sit down. Or is that Ritalin? I... I, I get all my kid drugs mixed up. Number three comes from at Jason F. Hernandez. Drink your Twitter and go on coffee. Now, I've never overeaten to the point of feeling drunk. Maybe it's a thing. I have no clue. I've never binged in my life. I've, I've eaten too much plenty of times. I've never eaten to the point where I've gotten an endorphin buzz, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm sure it's delightful. <laughs> 
Number two comes from at Fee Booths, a trip to Dunkin' Donuts for some coffee. <laughs> this is one of those tweets I saw and I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Damn it, that's good. So well done, Mr. Booths. Booths of Fee. I like it. Now before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions, including one from our host, at Real JK Calloway. One from me, mentally, pardon the turkey inside of you. It should reverse the effects. Now while this one makes zero sense whatsoever, I kind of came at it from the Mormon perspective. You know how they like baptize people as Mormons after they die? Same kind of concept. One from It's Me, Ashley Wee. Eat more and more until I develop resistance to its effects. I think this is how people should handle the whole gluten thing. I had Thanksgiving dinner with my in-laws and the aunt who was cooking everything uh, is gluten-free. So of course all the food was gluten-free. Which is like, great. It's such a new thing to say that you're affected by it's adorable that all of a sudden all these people are like I can't eat wheat <laughs> shut up one from at Avitable I've always found that an anxiety induced tryptophanic attack works pretty well I'm not entirely sure how that would work <laughs> unless the anxiety comes from having family over and then you're just kind of slowly taking bites as you get the dinner ready and then by the time it is ready you're like, <laughs> one from at Mrs. Saint to you Run around the block five times. Eh, never mind, just eat more pie. Offset it with sugar. That's my solution to most things. I didn't have any pie this year. I actually did kind of overdo it with food. Like dinner, I had two helpings and halfway through the second, I'm like, oh, ho, ho. nope. <laughs> so I didn't even get a chance to have any pie. I mean, it was just pecan or pumpkin. I'm, I'm a pumpkin guy, don't get me wrong, but pecan. No. And one from it far, Daddy. Admit that you're powerless over Turkey. Believe that a power greater than yourself can restore your sanity. Humbly ask everyone to forgive your gluttony. Honest question now, is there support groups for overeating at Thanksgiving now? <laughs> this is a little bit 12-steppy, a little bit creepy. I like it though. You have to know your limits and ask that people help you achieve those limits or something. I don't know. And our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at Danimal941. Just gotta go cold turkey. The solution to everything. Just, just quit. I tried this with smoking once, and I lasted like almost nine months, at least nine months actually. So it went okay. And then uh, someone was having a cigarette and around me, and I'm like, screw it, gimme. That was last August, and uh, I'm still a smoker now, so here we go for New Year's. But, you know, cold turkey. That's too good a pun to pass up. That's our number one. That's good stuff. I like it. And there it is, my friends, our top ten for this week's hashtag skirmish game, hashtag trip to fan recovery tactics. Thank you, everyone, for playing along. Lots of really funny stuff out there. I'm sure if there was less horrific things going on in the world, such as Egypt and... Malia Obama smoking a joint we would have trended higher before you go make sure you do download the hashtag roundup app it is outstanding consolidates all the best weekly hashtag games that get played every single day including hashtag skirmish which we play every single Friday 11.30 a.m. Eastern 8.30 a.m. Pacific appreciate you joining me and of course please do hit subscribe before you go lots of different cool videos we're gonna have the top 10s every Saturday after our games, but I also post some movie reviews with my three-year-old, which are not accurate, but they're fun. And I also react with some videos with my wife, usually about wrestling, because she does not care about wrestling, so I'm a horrible husband. I'll also do some political stuff, some satire stuff, some skits when I feel like it, really. But there's a lot of fun stuff. Please do hit subscribe for me. I would appreciate it. My name is J.K. Calloway. We will talk to you again next time.